on there. Yep. Woo! Yes, baby. High five. All right. My name's Dr. Glenn Johnston and I'm an applied benthic biologist at the Australian Antarctic Division. So the footage was filmed under sea ice in O'Brien Bay which is five kilometres from Casey Research Station on the eastern coast of Antarctica and that's around about 3,800 kilometres below Perth. So we're doing a, a, an experiment there to look at the effects of ocean acidification on Antarctic marine fauna. We're looking at how Antarctic marine fauna may react to the pH levels that we're expecting to see by the year 2100. So one of the major threats to global marine systems is climate change and Antarctica is particularly susceptible to ocean acidification, decreasing pH levels because of the cold water. Cold water soaks up more carbon dioxide than warm water and so Antarctica is where we may see changes due to ocean acidification before we see it around the rest of the world. Now the Antarctic FOS experiment has been run by the Australian Antarctic Division over the last four or five years to explore this issue and to try and understand how Antarctic marine systems will react to a future ocean scenario. So the pH levels we expect to see in seawater in the year 2100. Everybody knows about penguins and seals and whales and they're the iconic species that we all think of when we think of Antarctica. Uh, but when you get under the sea ice and onto the seafloor, that's where all the colour is, where all the biodiversity is, it's where all these different groups of marine animals live and it's a great privilege and a pleasure to get under that sea ice to dive or to, to use a remote operated vehicle and to get some footage and to, to look and start understanding those environments. So we've got uh, a, a GoPro camera mounted on top of a remote underwater vehicle. So that's a, a small underwater submersible that we can see on the surface. We can see the vision as it comes, feeds into the cameras and it's got lights so we can drive it around and we've deployed that through a hole in the sea ice that was, sea ice is about 1.5 metres thick and the vision that you're seeing is of a reef at around about 30 metres below that sea ice. 
the sea ice that covers the uh, sea there for up to 10 months of the year, sometimes longer, that allows these animals to have a relatively stable environment. There's very little or no current, there's very little wind generated or wave generated current because you've got that cap of sea ice sitting over the top of it. And it also has a very cold temperature at minus 1.5 degrees of seawater but that's stable throughout the year so that doesn't change so the organisms are adapted to only to a very small temperature change over their year where animals up here in the temperate or tropical zones maybe have to adapt to a much broader range of temperatures over their year. So all of that colour that you're seeing there, all of the organisms, the different marine invertebrate groups there, are the same ones that you might see if you went for a snorkel or a dive on a reef in Tasmania or in northern Australia or anywhere in Australia or anywhere in the world. So we've got sponges, we've got ascidians, we've got sea stars, sea cucumbers, worms, those flowery looking things are actually worms. Uh, we've got sea spiders, pycnogonids, uh, there's a range of different kinds of sea stars, um, holothurians, sea cucumbers there as well. So it's a very diverse mix of different species and different groups of marine animals.